I've had the uh, good fortune to really know what I wanted to do since fifth grade. One of the issues you have to deal with when you're in the world of public health, which is quite different than that of medicine, is that you don't lay hands on, meaning you don't have grateful patients, you don't have families and patients looking to you for curative medicine or for them to alleviate the pain. Some of the actions that we can take, whether it's discovering toxic shock syndrome and understanding why young women were coming down with this as a result of the high absorbency tampon use and being able to figure that out and getting high absorbency tampons off the market and overnight just literally watching the bottom drop out of toxic shock syndrome cases or solving large foodborne outbreaks where many people are dying as a result of consuming a contaminated food that nobody knows is contaminated and you figure it out. Um, being able to demonstrate that these are the ways that you can stop Ebola virus transmission even before a vaccine uh, is ever found. Those are all the things that we do in public health that no one person will know that you did them. And I often have told uh, my colleagues that the gratification you have to take is the fact that tonight, somewhere in this world, there is a young child being tucked in bed, kissed goodnight by their parents, and the only reason that they are existing today is because of an action you took that neither the parents or the child will ever know. You have to take that satisfaction home with you at night when you leave work to know that you made that difference. You didn't touch them physically, you didn't talk to their parents, but by God, they're alive because of something you did.